Hi everyone, this is Guy, an instructor in uh, the technology section at UNA, and I want to introduce you to the assignment for week five and kind of walk through that to uh, make it a little easier for you. So uh, before we start, I wanted to just show you where the data that we're going to work with came from, and that is the Big Cities Health Coalition. And uh, what that is, is a working group within the National Association of County and City Health Officials. And so you can go to their website and uh, download the uh, data sets. Uh, here's uh, indicators right here. Just click on that to download the data set. Now, um, that data set uh, can be quite large. So here's what it looks like when you download it. Um, it is a comma-separated value file. So you see up here in the, uh, in the you can't see that, enlarged. Um, it's um, <clears throat> a data set that's uh, essentially a text file that has a return to indicate the end of each uh, row or record, and commas separating the columns of data in each record. So this is a common interchange uh, format for data that gets exported out of databases and, and other spreadsheets. I had to cut this down a bit. Uh, it's about 80,000 rows or records when um, when you first download it, and um, it's a little bigger file than I thought your computers might like, so I cut it down a bit. And uh, the first thing we want to do is save it as an Excel file. So I'm going to click on uh, the file and do a save as, <coughs> and um, we'll just um, change the name of it here, add my initials to it, and we're going to change the file type to Excel. So now it will uh, it'll do some things that um, you can't do with just a, a comma file. All right, so um, this file is big, and um, we want to turn it into a table so we can use the table tools. And uh, if you click on this little uh, corner icon here, you're going to select the entire database and you or the entire spreadsheet, and you don't want to do that. And the reason is that the default is about a million rows and over 16,000 columns. And you don't have data, you know, in all those empty cells. So what you really want to do is select just the cells that have data. So we're going to click in the uh, data here and do Control A, which will select just the uh, cells that have data. And then we're going to go on the uh, format as table and change that. So you can see here it goes from A1 to N 2501. So there are 2000 rows of data in this set. You want to make sure this is checked here that your table has headers because the first row is not data. It is the headers for each column. So by doing that now we have the, uh, the table tools uh, put into the column headers. And so um, the uh, first thing I want to do is uh, do some selection to cut this down to a, a smaller amount. So I think if I do this, now if I click on the states, uh, you can see that we have the option to filter the uh, data. So we're going to unselect all, and then I'm going to select um, Arizona and Florida, and uh, we're going to say OK. So now all the uh, states showing in our table will just be those two. So if we scroll down and check that, and you know, we see Florida and, and uh, Arizona. All right, so now we want to pick a couple of cities. So we're going to do the same thing with the city uh, data pull down. We'll do a unselect all, and uh, with um, Florida, we're going to pick Deerfield Beach, and then I'm going to go down here and pick Phoenix for Arizona, and we'll click OK. So now we've limited our data set to um, just those two cities in those two states. And I want to scroll over here a bit, so what I'm going to do first is uh, go up here to View and do a, <coughs> excuse me, freeze panes. So now as I scroll, the uh, panes on the left and above will stay in place. I want to go over here to Measures and uh, column M, and um, 
we want to just compare a couple of measures here. So I'm going to look at obesity and lack of physical activity. And I will click that and we'll get those um, data points. So now we can look at the data value. So this data value type is age adjusted prevalence. So what that means uh, is that their survey revealed that in uh, Phoenix, 24% uh, of the population uh, had a low amount of physical activity. Where in De Deerfield Beach, um, it was better. It was 25 point, I'm sorry, it was worse. 25.7% of the residents had low physical activity. Uh, if we look at obesity, that was actually um, higher in Phoenix than it was in Deerfield Beach, and that, that would be bad. Um, so now you can start writing your paragraph in the uh, Word document that's um, going to describe what you found depending on the cities that you chose and the uh, unhealthy behaviors that you chose. And um, so um, I, I have done that. I already wrote a little paragraph here and I uh, cited the source that I showed you already. So I'll take that over here. And um, it'd be nice to have a chart. But unfortunately, when you have uh, data that's uh, collected as um, um, transaction data almost, it's records uh, where you have multiple um, entries for the same um, cities or states, it's a little hard to make a chart out of this. So the best way to do that is to uh, use the pivot table tools, and that's what we're going to do next. So we're going to go to the Insert tab, and we're going to choose Recommended Pivot Tables. And Excel gives us a whole list of recommended ones, and we'll just take the top one and say OK. And that's going to be on a new sheet. So you can see our data is still over here on the other sheet. But uh, this is the Pivot Table sheet, and it has all the data. So it has all the cities. Um, and we want to uh, make some adjustments to this, so I'm going to... Um, remove the fields here in our uh, field areas. So use the pull down and you can remove the field. And so we're going to start fresh. And what I want to do is put the measure in the rows. So now we're going to see all those unhealthy behaviors listed here. And what I want to do is in the columns I want to have the city names. And what I want in the measure is going to be the data value. So I'm going to put the data value down here in values. And then in the columns, I'm going to put the city. So we'll drag city name down there. And so now we have a pivot table that has our unhealthy behaviors and then the values for each city in our database. Now this is the whole database, not just the ones that we'd selected over here. And uh, there are 500 cities, so you see this goes on a long way. Now we don't really want all this, so I'm going to use the pull down here to select just the ones we want again. And so we took um, Deerfield Beach and uh, Phoenix. There we go. Right, so now we see Deerfield Beach and Phoenix, the values for each one of those unhealthy behaviors. Uh, so we can compare those. Again, our idea was we wanted to have a chart. So uh, before we do the chart, let me just say that if you edit this data, meaning you add new records or delete records, or you change the values in any of these cells, that will not be reflected in your pivot table right away. And the only way to do that is to click in the table which causes the pivot table tools to appear and then click on analyze and then in the refresh click the refresh all and that will update your pivot table with the new information that you entered into the data set so again we were going to do a table uh, I'm sorry a chart and so on the same analyze tab you see a pivot chart so if I click pivot chart it uh, proposes a type of chart for me to use. And I'll click OK and it sticks the chart right in there. So now we have the chart. And there we go. And one of the 
really nice things is that the um, filters are in the chart itself. So if I only wanted to see some of these measures, I could just select the ones I wanted to see. Uh, or if I wanted to uh, change the cities that were displaying, and let's suppose I wanted to put Alexandria on there for some reason, and I click OK, and now Alexandria is in the chart. So you can see how quick and easy it is to uh, slice and dice and analyze this data to get the information that you're trying to find and to see it here in a visual way in your in your chart. So now we want to integrate this into the Word document that you're doing for your assignment. So what we're going to do is if we click in the white space around the edge, that uh, selects the whole chart. If you click on some of the individual parts of the chart, you just select those. So we want to click and, click and do the whole chart and right click and do a copy. And now I'm going to bring back my, my Word document and I want to paste um, this nice chart in here. So uh, I'm going to click here and do a paste, a right click to paste, but I want to make sure that I paste as a link. So this one has two links. Uh, we can use the destination theme or we can use the source formatting uh, to put this in, so, but it's the critical thing here is the link. So I'm going to do the link. So now our chart that we had in Excel is here in the Word document. But the really beautiful thing about the link is that that is live. So if I go in here and I add two more cities, and I go back to Word, those cities have been added to my chart in Word. So the live link means that as you change the data selections, the uh, filters, uh, and sort orders, and so on in your pivot table, that chart updates automatically. So it's live. So anyway, this is uh, why I wanted to show you the pivot tables. They're very powerful tools, and uh, you can use those to analyze very large data sets very quickly and conveniently, and uh, you don't have to use any formulas to uh, do that. So I hope this will help you with your assignment, and I look forward to getting them from you. Thanks.